high school students are looking out for a fellow student. The Petoskey High School engineering class invented a device that could make life a lot easier for six-year-old Stella Malpass. Seven and four's Brittany Beauty went to Petoskey to see how this project came together. She joins us now live. Brittany. Mark, this isn't some project out of a textbook or that every class gets to do. It's a real-life situation, and when the students found out they could help Stella, they were eager to get started. Oops, wrong way. We're black. Six-year-old Stella is your average first grader. She likes games, playing house, and her favorite class is gym. But she's been learning how to overcome obstacles since she was born. It's arthropriposis multiplex congenita, or most people say AMC. It's a rare condition that limits her ability to fully extend her arms and legs. She's had five surgeries and a lot of physical therapy to help her recover. She can't run. She can walk really fast. Mm -hmm. But um, she's just can't. there's certain things that she wishes she could do. Certain things, like going to the restroom on her own. This is the one thing that she, in school, she needs help with. She can do just about everything. It's just she doesn't have the strength to pull her pants up. Jody Carroll has been Stella's occupational therapist for two years. She's been a year trying to find a solution, reaching out to clothing companies, but no luck. After multiple searches, I realized that we needed to invent something. So she contacted the Petoskey High School drafting team, and without any reservations, they were all in. And as soon as I told the students about it, they jumped on the bandwagon, and we went to work right away. It was the perfect engineering project, brainstorming, design thinking, problem solving, and trial and error. And then once she tried it, it was kind of a disappointment when we got the news that the first one didn't work, but it was just a matter of coming up with the next idea. Or Three prototypes later, they printed their so best device yet. So this, both of these top and bottom parts attach to Stella's pants, okay. and we hook them on, and then Stella uses her thumb to grasp and pushes down, and then when it's time to pull up, she pulls up. Flabbergasted, I was really grateful. I um, was grateful that they, these young people came together to help my daughter. I thought it was wonderful. Stella's mom says there are a lot of devices out there and equipment to help with this condition, but nothing like what the students invented. Reporting live in the studio, Brittany Beauty, 7 and 4 News. All right, thanks, Brittany. Mrs. Liebler says with the 3D printing technology, the class can continue to work and grow with Stella, and they can even print different colors to match Stella's different outfits. Hello, my name is Jody Carroll, and I am a recent graduate of Grand Valley State University's program for special education administrators. I am eager to obtain a leadership position in the field of special education and believe that my professional experiences have provided me with an extremely strong base of knowledge and skills. I am confident that I will be able to navigate the intricacies of special education, not only for children and families, but also for faculty that I will be servicing as an administrator. From my early experiences working as an occupational therapist and training at Mary Freebed Hospital in Grand Rapids, I knew that I wanted to work with children with disabilities. Special education has allowed me to work with children with complex muscle disorders to autism spectrum disorder and everything in between. I believe that being able to see a child through the lens of someone who can assess their disability is an extremely important part and component to understanding how to provide special education programs and services for children. To educate and inspire are both a part of East Grand Rapids mission statement. As an educational leader and a lover of children with disabilities, I plan to do both of those things, to increase the educational outcomes for children with disabilities and to inspire all to look at children with disabilities in a more positive light.